but upload higher, guys. So my name is Noelle and I live in Silver Spring, Maryland, which is outside of the District of Mar uh, Columbia, about 25 minutes away. And I'm originally from Kenya. So I'm cloud hired, guys! Um, I really do want to encourage every single person who has joined the program. This is the best program that you can ever come across as it relates to cloud architecture and what you can learn about cloud architecture, but also in addition to that executive presence and how to, you know, um, capitalize on the different um, resources that are there and, you know, make yourself known out there in the industry. Um, so my upcoming role would be as a cloud infrastructure architect consultant. Um, and it's very different from what I was previously doing just because one, just the area of um, work, the scope of work that I'd be doing. Um, and then in terms of also just the companies, uh, I will be working for one of the big four consulting firms um, which is a huge difference coming from where I previously was, which is a small company of about 140, 180 something people. So uh, I feel as though there'll be that learning uh, of how to adjust between a very small company to a very large company. Uh, the reason why I had um, an opportunity to uh, interview with another company, VMware, the reason why I opted to go for the consulting firm was because of the opportunity. I felt that there would be more opportunities for me to dip my toes in different um, projects without actually having to leave the company. Um, and with the consulting firm, I do believe that I would probably get more a lot, a lot more networking opportunities as opposed to the uh, to v VMware and certainly a lot more networking opportunities than my previous uh, role provided for me. In terms of salary, um, the salary is about 1.5 times more than what I was making at my previous role. So that also is a great incentive. So I actually bumped into one of Mike's videos. So uh, prior to, while I was still working um, at my company, um, I had been interested in cloud architecture and cloud computing. Um, and I had taken a few courses or yeah, a couple of courses, but I didn't really, um, it didn't really jive all that well with me. And so, I was going through some videos and happened to bump into Mike explaining something that I was like, oh, that looks interesting and clicked on it. And I really liked the way he explained it. So that's how I bumped into the program. <laughs> yeah, so I had taken an intro to uh, AWS, uh, one of the local community college um, so one of them had an intro to AWS and it was about a two month course or something along those lines, a few classes. So I took that and that uh, piqued my interest in exactly what, you know, AWS was, but it was very, um, it, it was not in depth. It was just very basic knowledge as to what AWS was. And so then the second thing that I signed up for was for a, a cloud guru program. Um, and that one I felt like was repetitious of what I had learned from the community college. And so I didn't find it as helpful. Um, and then I had also just tried to like self learn um, on AWS's free tier program that they have before I had bumped into Mike's class. So for me, it really was how Mike was explaining the information. I'm not too sure exactly which 
uh, video it was, but it was something that was a simple um, idea that was difficult. I was having a hard time finding an answer for it. So for example, the difference between a cloud architect and a cloud engineer, I think Mike had some videos on that. And the way he explained it made sense to me and it was very structured in the way he explained it. And so I went through a few other videos of his that he has, which was a nice thing. I liked the fact that he actually had free programs or free videos where he explained a lot of uh, things that I had questions on. And I really, I mean, it was very difficult to find um, any videos out there that succinctly explained the things the way Mike did. And so I looked into the uh, program itself. I went onto the website and they did have the discount. But in spite of the discount, the fact that I had liked the, he'd put enough material in there to make me interested in seeing what else I could learn from him. And that's really why I, I um, enrolled in the program. Yes, so when I started the program, I was employed and I have had been working as a data management specialist. So I worked with our company's um, data and just making sure that it was secure and organized in a way that uh, people could be able to utilize it, you know, um, more efficiently. Absolutely. I think the other thing, one of the other things that I did like about once I joined the program was um, Mike's and you guys' um, teaching people skills. And so I felt comfortable with the people skills that I had before. It's just that because I was transitioning to a different role, I felt rather inadequate or sometimes as though, you know, imposter syndrome. Like, what do I know? Um, and so Mike's information and how you can take what you had before from your previous roles and be able to translate that into how you could be able to utilize that as an architect really did help me feel more comfortable in the, fa in the fact that not only did I understand, you know, the technical aspects of it, but that I could utilize my previous experience um, as an effective architect. Um, and so I do feel like it did make me a lot more confident. Also the way the, the program is set up, we have these videos. So you're talking to different people. Um, if you participate, you will be engaging with people in different um, countries all at the same time. And so it makes you feel a little bit more comfortable in speaking publicly to a group of people that you don't know. So that's another uh, thing that I liked about the program. I, w I mean, I would say definitely making me feel more comfortable in speaking in front of people. It's not something that I generally liked doing or I felt that I was great at doing. And like I said, the way the program is set up, it, if you actually want to progress and progress quickly, uh, then you are forced to come come outside of your comfort zone. So this really took me outside of my comfort zone. Um, and I feel like that I can translate into different aspects of my life where, you know, it's I feel like it's a little bit maybe more easier to engage with people. Um, I did get to meet quite a number of people who are in all sorts of like walks of life. And it was uh, fun and interesting to see how it is that they came about um, the program itself and what they wanted to accomplish and what they actually had accomplished. And it was nice to see that it wasn't just people who are purely from IT background. There was a you know broad range of people from different backgrounds. And so that, that makes me um, happy to see because it makes you feel confident that that you're not the only one who's trying to find a way to better your life. Yeah, so as I'd said before, first of all, the um, the people skills, the executive presence, the 
you know, managing to talk to different, um, you know, your, what your emotional intelligence is and how you can bring it to the table to serve you better. That, I really was not expecting that. And I had not encountered that in any of the other programs that I had tried to, that I had, you know, gone through before. So that was a big surprise. Um, the other one was um, Mike and GoCloud's um, interest in helping their students build a brand that they can utilize at a later point and utilizing LinkedIn specifically because I'm not a big LinkedIn person and I have broadly <laughs> really <laughs> increased my presence on LinkedIn because of the program and that was something that I was surprised about I was not expecting it and so I've been able to grow my number of um, LinkedIn peers um, exponentially uh, through this program. Um, the other thing would be just overall the everybody wanting everybody to help each other. It's, it's, it really is a family. Um, and I was surprised and pleasantly surprised about how everybody's just rooting for you to do really well and are very quick to give you answers. And if they don't have an answer to something, then, you know, maybe recommending somebody else who could. And also with the program, just Mike's um, reach with other um, people who are in the industry and them, you know, coming in and wanting to mentor or to give opportunities to the students based on their relationship that they have with Mike. That was something I wasn't expecting and neither had I had um, in the other programs. Um, I really do encourage everybody, especially at the beginning, it can seem very, very overwhelming. Uh, it's a lot of information, but if you can stick through it and trust Mike and um, Chris and everybody else on the program, you'll actually get through it and you would be, you'll, you'll be surprised. You may find it that if you understand the technical information that you could um, go through the, the process a lot faster than you'd actually anticipated. So just hold on and keep at it and follow everybody's, you know, inf um, instructions and advice and you'll be cloud hired too. Yay.